Hello, my friends, Matt Fury back with you, and I have a kick-ass, exceptional, off-the-charts video for you. This one is going to teach you a procedural method to being able to do perfect, or close to perfect, Hindu squats. It's also going to give you a method where you're doing a minimum of 100 squats per day. If you take this challenge, assuming you're in good health and assuming you have your doctor's approval, you do 100 squats a day the way I'm showing and then ultimately doing at least 100 Hindu squats a day, your body is going to change dramatically. Pay attention. Hone in, focus your mind so that you are able to go to the next level in your fitness and health regimen. Let's go. The first step is to do a series of loosening up squats. These are quite simple, but they're also challenging when you do 20 to 25 of them. So you just Start to lower your level, and then you lean forward, bend your back, put your fingers on the ground, and squat down as best you can. Then from there, straight one, two, three, four, five. Breathe out when you come up. Six, seven, eight, nine. Really stretch the hamstrings. 11, 12. This gets the joints loose, gets the muscles loose, gets your lower back ready for action. I think that's 18, 19, 20. Breathing out. Ignoring the bumblebees and the yellow jackets. After you finish, you shake your legs out a little bit and take a rest, even if you think you don't need one. Take about one minute rest. Step two, you begin with quarter squats and then gradually have those go to a third of a squat, half a squat or further. Hands are gonna be up in front, palms facing down. So just start this way. Breathe out on the way down, the opposite of what you're normally told. And notice that I have a nice wavy motion in my hands and wrists. Gradually, my body's going lower. I'm in no rush, moderate pace or even a slow pace. I lost count, but I think I'm at about 20. You can see I'm going halfway down now and a little beyond half and then all the way down. My heels are staying flat. Good, now I'm nice and loose, and I'll take another break for a minute or so. Step three, round three. We're going to begin with where we just left off on the second round. Hands are up. Now, when I go down, I'm still exhaling. I start the reps slowly. So I'm not in a rush, even though I'm warmed up. I still take my time in the beginning. So go down, exhale, up, down, up, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I feel really loose and I can add a little bit more speed to it. Left, 12, 
30, 40, 50, 60, 17, 19, 20, five more. One, two, three, four, five. Come back up and relax. Take another break for a minute or two. Before you dive into this fourth and final step of this video, a soft plug from my sponsor, which happens to be me. Go to mattfury.com and get your hands on the spiral bound edition of my international best selling classic, Combat Conditioning. There are also DVDs available, and the book. And the DVDs are also available digitally so that you can watch it immediately. Oh. On to step four. Step four, round four. Now we will do the Hindu squats, which I champion in my book, Combat Conditioning. The book and DVDs are awesome. They will show you how to do these and how to work a lot work out along with me. So with the Hindu squat, my arms start out here again, and I'm gonna pull them in. Pull my elbows in, bring my hands behind my backside. So just start by doing quarters again. Breathing out down, six. Now I go to thirds. Now I go a half. Now I'm going all the way down and coming up. That was 25 at the deeper level. I did 10, 15, 20 at quarter to a third to a half. That completes your 100 squats a day challenge. Get on it, leave comments, let me know how it works for you. This is truly awesome.